Hello everyone and thank you for clicking on this video. 2022 is coming to an end which means that we should do our 2023 bullet journal setup. I wanted the theme for 2023 to be a really neutral and simple one. I didn't want to do something very specific or complicated and this is why I chose to do a big frame and to draw two twigs with leaves in the corners. I think it looks super cute and simple at the same time. In the middle of the page I write hello 2023. On the next page I write a quote as usual. Grateful for all that has come and grateful for all that has left. Whatever had to go was not mine. I think this is the best code to begin a new year. We should be grateful for all things that happened in 2022 and accept things or people that left our life. And we should start 2023 with a clear and fresh mind. I think that everything happens in our life for a reason and it's important to appreciate that. Then, the next spread that I use a lot during the year is the future log. Here, at the beginning of the year, I write about different events or things that should happen, like birthdays, already planned trips, events, and so on. Then, at the end of the month, I like to add important events or things that I want to remember, like my first day at the job, the day when I will become monetized or a meeting with an important friend. The layout of this spread is also super simple and easy. I like to do my spreads really useful rather than beautiful. We have three months on each page and I also wrote a small calendar for each month to highlight the necessary dates. So, the idea of this spread is to choose one photo that will represent each month. This is a great way to capture different memories in your bullet journal. If you watched my other videos, you know how much I love to capture different details from my life. And I think this is also a great way to do it. It's very pleasing to look back at all these photos and to remember how happy and lucky you were. So on each page I have three months that are represented by cute photo spaces. Last year I used Polaroid drawings for photos but this year I decided to try something new. The next spread is a really important one because here I write my goals for the entire year. I also divide my goals into categories like financial, health, physical, personal growth, intellectual and fun and travel. In one of my previous videos, I showed how I set goals for 2023 and how I actually achieve them. So you can check this video to learn more about my system of planning my goals. But this thread keeps me motivated during the year and I always can change something if it's needed because life doesn't go always as we want it to. Now let's do the year in pixels. I use this spread in my bullet journal for 4 or 5 years and I really like it. It's super interesting and funny to see how your mood was the whole year and which month was the best or the worst. From this tracker, I like to think why I was happier this month or why this month I was more depressed or sad. I always try to make a conclusion to improve my mood and to understand the causes that influence my mood. So I draw a big table where on the horizontal part we have a month and on the vertical part we have a monthly days. On the right side I try to define the color for each mood like happy, sad, horrible, motivated and so on. Another my advice is to define as many mood definitions as you can to be more precise about your mood. Our days are not only bad or good, happy or sad but they can be different. One day you can be depressed and unmotivated, the other day you can be grateful and productive, 
and so on. Each day is different and unique. For this year, I decided to use a book tracker because one of my goals is to read one or two books per month. So I want to track them somewhere and I decided that the best option is to do a book tracker. So I did a big table on the whole page where I will write the number, title, description and overall mark. It's a great way to keep all the books in one place so you can always look back and check on some of them. This is a different and new spread for me. I saw it on Pinterest and I want to try it. The idea is to write at the end of the year some things that you watched like movies, series and videos. I think it's not necessary to write everything that you watched because it's impossible, but to write some of them that you liked the most and want to save for later. Also, you can write at the end of the year some numbers that represent your year, like 24 books, 30 days of vacation, uh, 48 videos posted on YouTube, and so on. Then you also can write some positive and negative things about the year, like finishing the university, buying a new phone, or breaking a leg, or breaking a phone, and so on. I am very interested if I will use this spread at the end of the year and if I will like it. Now, let's do the wish list spread. This is a spread where I write everything that I want to buy during the year. Also, I like to add more things or erase some things during the year so I can buy everything that I want and need. This is a new tracker for me that I want to use this year. One of my goals is to save a certain amount of money by the end of the year, so I want to track how much money I save each month. I think it's important to track such things to achieve your goal, because without doing this, it will be very hard to stay on track the whole year. Also, at the bottom of the page, I wrote a quote that will motivate me. You might not be exactly where you want to be, but look at how much progress you've made. You are getting there. Keep going. The next spread is one sentence per month. So basically, I'll write here one sentence that will describe each month during the whole year. I think this is a great way to summarize your month and express it in only one sentence. I think it will be a pretty hard challenge to describe an entire month only in one sentence, but it's interesting to see what will be the most important thing that I will want to write about. So, this is a really simple but helpful spread. It consists only of two questions, which are how was 2022 and how 2023 is going to be. Here, I am going to describe on the whole first page how was 2022 for me. And also, on the next page, I'll write how I want the 2023 to be. I want to visualize it in a written way. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos about 2023 and my other bullet journal setups. Have a nice day and see you! Thank you.